Good morning. It's Tuesday, July 19th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Below the Surface, and our scripture is Psalm 119. Help me understand the meaning of your commandments, and I will meditate on your wonderful deeds. I weep with sorrow. Encourage me by your word. Keep me from lying to myself. Give me the privilege of knowing your instructions. I have chosen to be faithful. I have determined to live by your regulations. I cling to your laws. Lord, don't let me be put to shame. I will pursue your commands, for you expand my understanding. If you notice the words and phrases in red, the psalmist asked for understanding of what God's ways and character mean when put into daily living. He asked for encouragement or strength to live that way. He asked for knowing, a clear understanding of his own character, not lying to himself. All an indication of the tendency to stray from God's way. He wanted to change. He wanted to be pleasing in God's sight. And he expressed faith that God would expand my understanding. Well, how about a little expansion for today? How about going deeper than the surface milk of God's word clear down to the meat? For instance, read this verse from Paul's letter to the Corinthian churches. The temptations in your life are no different from what others experience, and God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. In a surface read, many people assume what you often hear as bedrock gospel, the Lord won't put any more on you than you can stand. But if you dig deeper, you will have to admit God does just that sometimes, even often. Just ask Job. The oldest book of the biblical writings, the story of Job, proclaims him a good man. Job chapter 1 verse 1. There was once a man named Job who lived in the land of Uz. He was blameless, a man of complete integrity. He feared God and stayed away from evil. Well, you read a little bit further, and you discover Job, a man loved by God, got clobbered with more bad stuff than most of us would face in three lifetimes. But at the end, Job found mercy and grace, and in the long run, in God's timing, things turned out far better for Job than the earthly wealth and success he'd managed to accumulate. The prophet Isaiah wrote that God said, My thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says the Lord, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. God's wisdom, strength, and gifts all match His mercy and grace, and it's all available to us if we will trust like Job, not popular theology that denies God's word. For you today, if you can pray with the psalmist for understanding, strength, clarity, and discipline to live God's way, you've taken a first step in a lifetime of heading in the right direction, pleasing God in every way. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.